Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the Rico and Mambo Morning Show, a guy who needs no introduction. Put your hands together for the one, the only, Ray J. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. The leader. What's up? Good morning. How you, know, you doing? It's, it's always good to have an introduction. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, it's always good to have one. Thank y'all for having me, man. God bless. Hey, hey, welcome back, man. Thank you. Thank you. So the last time we we, we had you, you weren't on uh, on this uh, VH1 show yet. Yeah, I probably was on another VH1 show. <laughs> yeah, it was it, it, yeah, it was a while. Yeah. Yeah. How long ago was it? It was maybe two, oh, three years ago. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, maybe, yeah. Maybe right about that because time. Because I did, I did, you know, I did For the Love of Ray J two seasons on VH1. Did right. Double Back, did my sister's show. We, I created Brandy and Ray J Family Business. Then I took a break from VH1 and did, uh, I did, I went to Oxygen for a while and I did Bad Girls All Star Battle. Then I doubled back and now I'm doing, you know, the new show. So so, yeah, so how, I, how, I don't remember what. <laughs> you, know, you know what? How, how is it doing uh, Loving Hip Hop? You know what? It's intense, man. It's it, for me. I, everything is real, so it, it it it's 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 emotionally sometimes draining because it's like you working and you, you it's emotional and you you up and down in these relationships and f- and, and I don't know about everybody else's situations, but mine is all authentic. So. I mean, you, maybe you, that's you, why it does well because people can sniff out when it's BS. Yeah. They can sniff out when it was like, "Yo, that shit really happened." I mean, oops, that that really happened. You know what I mean? So, hey, but you know, you know what? Like, you could have your own show, bro. We don't even need the, the other people right. because, right? Uh, I I remember watching the the reunion show. Man, yo, it was crazy, right? <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like, somebody got to do something. <laughs> somebody got to do something. And it's like when you sign up for this show, it's like. You can't go on this show and think that it's going to be all peaches and cream. You know what I mean? It's like people sign up for these kind of shows and then they go, oh, well, you know, I'm going to be, I'm going to look so, I'm going to brand myself. I'm going to go to church. I'm going to, it's like, look, the, 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 the storyline has to go one way. Right. Mm -hmm. You ain't going to step up to the plate and hit a home run. Just do something else. So has there been any kind of talks about you doing a show just a Ray J show, strictly Ray J. Well, um, I, I got I got a few shows on right now that I produce. I got a show on on the Reels channel called Hollywood Hillbillies um, that I produce, and I'm on that show. Um, I got another a deal with We TV right now, and I'm I'm starting on a new show next week in New York. Um, and that's that's me in more of a hosting format. So it's my show, but it's not a docu series. So for me doing a full docu, I don't know. I think Love and Hip Hop is the platform. It's the number one reality show on TV. So I'm happy with that and the numbers, but I just want to get back to the music because there's just so much more substance behind music and mm-hmm. making people feel good as opposed to keeping people on their toes all the time and just in this intense world. Like, we make a lot of money, but this, but it's like, I, I don't know, I'm just, I want to get back to the substance. I want people to emotionally attach with me as opposed to just all of this crazy excitement. And <laughs> all right. It, it always comes back to the music with you, though. Yeah, I mean, and, and again, hopefully, because I'm independent, so I drop a record, it'll it'll do really well, you know what I mean? And then I'll kind of start doing television, take the money we made and invest it in other things, and then come back three years later with another hit. So it's it's tricky. It's and you tricky. know what? You, you you know, we see we see a lot of artists come and go, but you've been around, bro. How old were you when you first got in the business? Thirteen. 13 yeah, 13 wow. and i and i'm 34 wow you know what i'm saying so i i kind of and i've always been independent i've always been able to find a way to be myself and also you know uh, be successful and and not have to do what i don't want to do because right. a lot of times people have to put on this face that they really aren't and then you find out later who they really are but they've been that way the whole time it was just that they were they were being somebody they they weren't in real life so, yo that's 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 a yeah. big blessing right there yeah, to be is. able to do it something is. like that for it's for like, that long yeah because it's like even like with snoop like that's my cousin but he's able to be himself you know mm-hmm. he can come out he can roll up he can smoke he could he could be himself so he doesn't have to run to the back and roll up and then come out another way you know what i mean so <laughs> right. for him it's fun all day he can work he can be comfortable so for me i i want it it's taking me a little bit longer but it's I'm just having more fun and I'm more comfortable to wake up and say I, I can just I could do what I want to do. Mm-hmm. Now can we expect an album after uh, this single? 
Yeah, yeah, for sure. I got an album coming out, Radiation 2. It's like 10 years since I dropped One Wish. So Radiation 2 is the new album centered around that kind of sound. Brown Sugar has that soul feel, that feel-good R&B, rhythmic, you know, that mm -hmm. mainstream Caribbean kind of sound. So I'm going to go back to that. I just want people to want the album. So if people love this song and we tour it and the song goes all the way, then it's it, it'll prep itself for the album. But I want them to want it first. All right, so you got to make it happen for Ray J, all right? Yeah, for Get sure. Get it on yeah iTunes know. right here right now Brown Sugar featuring Lil Wayne so you're yep. doing the music right now and and uh, loving hip hop coming back yeah loving hip hop is for sure and loving hip hop is in the mix the franchise keeps moving all the time um, and, and shout out to, to we TV because that's my that's my new deal I got a big play at we TV a huge play shout out to Mark and Lauren and all of them uh, for, for opening those doors and then VH1 is like that's that's like fam too so I'm developing something else there right now too. That's going to be crazy. So oh, yeah, oh, oh, and then BT. We got BT Awards. We making some uh, announcement. Something. El another show is about to un unleash that I'm producing. Man, too. I thought we were busy, bro. <laughs> but man, you're yeah. you're everywhere, man. Oh, man, for real, for real. For real. <laughs> well, that's good, man. Continued success, and you know that we're always going to have our door open for you, man. Thank whenever you, you want to come Thank by, you. man. I appreciate it. We got to set some up out here, like a a a, a party. Uh, 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 you know, uh, some kind of brown sugar, you know what I'm saying? Extravaganza. Whenever you want, you oh, let then, us know. And then check it out. If y'all got some, if y'all got dogs, right? I, my, I, my, I just broke up with my girl, so I have to take my dog. So I got my dog, <laughs> um, as he turns two on Saturday. Oh, well, happy so, birthday. Yeah, so I'm about to do some. I think I'm either do his party Saturday or Sunday, but it's going to be nothing but bitches. So, <laughs> you know, you know what's going on. And so if y'all wanna if y'all wanna come through, bring a dog or have one of your fly friends that you know got a dog, be like, you know, Ray J throwing a party and then you gotta bring your dog. Yo, it's a listen, this is gonna be so sexy. <laughs> There's gonna be it's a gonna lot be of a bitches, lot there, bro. Of, a lot of bitches, and we can use that in that context right now. That it all oh makes sense. God. I'm looking yeah. for my dog, a bitch. So that's it, and you know what I'm saying. And, and we excited. So y'all more than welcome to come to the party. It's probably gonna be Sunday. All right. Bugatti's two year old birthday <laughs> extravaganza. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> bitches on bitches on bitches. <laughs> Oh my God! Hey, oh check out man. his website, RayJ.com. What about your uh, your Facebook and your Twitter? Yeah, everything just Ray J, R A Y J. My Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. You know, and, all right. Uh, and yeah, get the Brown Sugar record. It's out. You can go to my Instagram and go to my bio and to the link and just grab it from there. All right, man. Yeah, so you already know. we're gonna get into it once again. Ray J featuring Lil Wayne. This is Brown Sugar, ladies and gentlemen. Put your hands together for Ray J. Yeah. Yeah.